Go. Welcome to Weaponized News. Sam Cheney, Stuart Webb reporting as usual. We are the media. The media is lying scumbags. Their okay. agenda is... Okay. I'm outraged! Donald I'm Trump, outraged. Donald Trump's acting like a red-blooded American. It's disgusting. <laughs> Hello, friends. This is Sam Cheney reporting for Weaponized News with my co-host, Stuart Webb. This is our Saturday show on our YouTube channel. Thank you for all your views. Continue to view our videos and subscribe. Today is October 8th, 2000. 16. We're fighting the international banking cartel, one world government, scientific dictatorship, satanic conspiracy. And I'm outraged, Stuart. I'm outraged at Donald Trump's comments about women. He's just, yeah, me too. He's Sam. disgusting. I, you know what? You know what? I, I would have much rather had Donald Trump make those lewd comments about another guy. I just wish I wish Donald Trump was just gay. <laughs> I wish that he would was solve trans. everything. If he was trans. I wish he was just a transsexual gay guy and everyone would be crazy. In fact, Bill Cl or I'm not sorry, I'm thinking Bill Clinton. <laughs> Donald Trump should just be Caitlyn Jenner or Caitlyn Jenner should just run for president. Then that's you know that is when the end of America will be will uh will witness it when a transgender is president. <laughs> And um, and not even not even just a transgender, a transgender that doesn't is is still in transition. They are not sure if they're going to stay with the the sex change or they're going to go back or they're going to become a butterfly. That's when we will be at the end of the road here. Um, yeah, it is when a transgender is president. So Stuart, there's all this fake moral outrage from the left. Of course, we expect nothing less from them. When they support uh, abortion, killing your baby, but then you got the right fake moral outrage from Paul Ryan, from all these uh, fake neocon Rhino Republicans who act like they're holier than now. When they have been in power this whole time, put it, they've helped put us in twenty trillion in debt, endless wars. I mean, go down the list of crimes against humanity that these people have been a part of, but yet they're outraged about Donald Trump's locker room banter which he has issued an apology for yeah i wish he wouldn't have apologized for that <laughs> it was a conversation in private that every man has either said to another guy or thought in private period so uh, i i just don't even understand what the news is uh, <laughs> donald trump is a billionaire playboy like it's like it's like telling it's like telling you know leonardo to it's like if leonardo dicaprio or brad pitt was caught on a hot mic talking about women that way people would be like well, you know, uh, he's a Democrat and he supports Hillary. So this is just like an attack on women. This is an attack on women if you're going to attack Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt or what, whatever, so insert celebrity name here, okay? Leonardo DiCaprio switches women every month, okay? <laughs> and they're all, do you think he cares about these women? But he's... No, he's using them for sex. He's a billionaire or he's a millionaire celebrity actor. And so, but Donald Trump, who actually builds businesses, who actually has created jobs, who actually has basically, you know, ended this political correct, uh, made it safe for people to just speak their mind. Um, he said these things, what, 11 years ago? <laughs> yeah. And he was going to be on a soap? I mean, if you're going to be on a soap already, what? why do you even – I mean – this is the fake outrage. Hollywood in general should not be able to speak at all, at all. And the fake outrage from the right and left in the media is sad. It is pathetic. Okay, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that that's conversations that should be had, but that's what every that's how men talk. I'm sorry, that's Lock, just it's, normal men. It's room, lo locker, locker room banter. banter. It's ridiculous. And Stuart, yeah, I mean, coincidentally, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say he's married or whatever. Or, you know, I that's the only thing. But Every man. So any men who are upset about this, you're pathetic. You are a pathetic male. Okay, pathetic. You can be mad about well, he shouldn't. He shouldn't be talking that way. But don't act like you've never thought or said something like that uh, about a woman in private to another man. Stop with the stop with the fake outrage. <laughs> male men, men cannot talk about this at all. Okay, don't say I'm holier than thou. Any man Paul Ryan, defend, Paul Ryan had to cancel. Yeah, he's not a man. And you know what? He's probably getting – he's probably uh, been – he's probably had prostitutes. And I'm sure he's been blackmailed politically. Six ways because that's to what Sunday, he, that's, yeah. 
Oh, he's compromised. Exactly. Six ways to Sunday. So Paul Ryan, uh, don't act like you're actually outraged. Uh, Ted Cruz, remember all his mistresses? Yeah, uh-huh, exactly. Remember the, uh, uh, what was it, um, the uh, M- Madam, uh, DC Ma- Madam? Yeah, yeah, he was on that list. Uh-huh, yeah, he was on that list. So don't act like you're holier than thou, the right and the left, okay? Bill Clinton rapes women, and he's praised by women. Donald Trump says some things about, hey, man, I love I love women. They're beautiful. And yeah, he made some lewd comments in private, when he was going to be on a soap. I mean, come <laughs> on, with a bunch of slutty actresses. It, totally ridiculous. Sir, coinc- okay? Coincidentally, that tape of of uh, Donald Trump's lewd comments was released right after WikiLeaks dumped a bunch more of Hillary Clinton's emails. Yeah, so it's the news cycle is full of the Donald, Donald Trump garbage. Headline news on Yahoo – uh, GOPers drop, uh, you know, endorsements for Trump. Will he stay in? Will he stay in? There's 30 <laughs> days out. Anyone who's going to vote for Trump, this this makes no difference. Anyone who was going to vote for him, this makes no difference. Okay, uh, if you want, Hillary facilitates the rape of women with her husband. So people need this whole fake outrage. And if people really, people are just they're for endless war and abortion. These people. He, he said pussy. Yeah. He said pussy. <laughs> You know what? The males that are complaining about this, our country is going down the tubes. Stop being pussies. Quit being <laughs> pussies. I'm going to say it, and I'm sorry. I'm not. I am not uh, uh, ashamed to say it. Okay. Real men need to stand up. Take back the Constitution. Stop being pussies. Okay. Sorry, I got to use that language, but I mean, come on. Do you, you want the, the Hillary Satan, as Mark Dice would call her, Hillary Satan, to be in charge? Are you kidding me? And all this fake moral outrage, the misogyny <laughs> comments, the sexist, racist comments. We're sick of it. We're done. We're twenty trillion in debt. Uh, all our jobs are outsourced. Un- uh, all perpetual, the government regulation. Perpetual unconstitutional wars, abortion. I mean, go down the list of moral outrage, and this is very low. So these people are complete hypocrite, lying scumbags. Stuart, the Hillary leaked email. She says, "My dream is." A hemispheric common market with trade and open border. She's calling for one world government. That's her dream. She's a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. She speaks there. She she gets her orders from there. Um, and, you know, Gary Johnson's VP is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Uh, he's clearly a total shill. So we don't have a third option. Um, and so it's really sad. And, you know, we're going to get, we're going to get, if we get Hillary, Whether we deserve it. Drugs, if we get Hillary, we deserve it. And I wish real Dem- like Democrats that actually believe in what their platform is at, at some level. Uh, see, it's kind of turned. Remember, remember when the Democrats were anti war? Now they're just anti Christian, anti everyone that disagrees with them, and they have the moral high ground. That's their platform. <laughs> they don't care about, oh, if, if Obama blows people up, no big deal. No big deal if Obama broke, but eh, no big deal. He's half black and he's trendy, so it's acceptable. And he's possibly gay, so <laughs> I mean that's a triple threat: minority, gay. If he and maybe if he if Obama gets out of office and and gets a sex change, he'll be a transgender male <laughs> or a transgender woman or whatever that's also gay. I don't know, but you know what? <laughs> hey, he'll probably do it. I mean, look at Bruce Jenner. Look what they did to him, yeah. And he did that because he was supposed to. He was part of the agenda. That's the, he, you know, I mean, that's they're compromised. These people are compromised, and and they've sold out. They've sold they've, their souls. Yeah. And and you know what? If we get Hillary, we deserve it. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. Let's and, go through. And you can, yeah. Let's go through some of the highlights of her leaked emails for this last go around. Clinton admits she is out of touch. Clinton says you need to have a private and public position on policy. So right there, she's basically admitting that behind closed doors, talking to Goldman Sachs, she's going to tell them one thing and then rail against the Wall Street and the bank cartel in public. Complete lies, right? Yeah, when and when Trump, when Trump, com- Trump comes out and says, has a really simple message um, sometimes uh, and then admits, hey, you know, like, I'm just giving you the basics because the details will be hammered out later, or I don't want to give up this information because, uh, let's say, my strategy on ISIS, et cetera, 
Uh, and then Clinton just straight up admits behind closed doors, oh, yeah, I have a public policy and a private policy. So she admits that she lies to the public, at least Donald Trump's somewhat honest, and says, yay, hey, guys, you know, I, you know, w the wall. I mean, he, he said – I remember he said in the debates, he said, look, I mean, there's always room for compromise. I'm always going to make a deal. Like, I will make a deal, but I'm saying, yes, we need a wall. I don't know how well. Will the wall be 50 feet, 60 feet, or 40 feet? I don't know. That can be arranged. That can be compromised. Uh, we can make the deal to get it done. Um, and so he at least admits that there is a wiggle room and he is open to that. Hillary Clinton just says, oh, no, I'm you must worship me and my my public policy is the best, even though my public policy behind closed doors is, is talking totally to, different. Talking to the bankers. I sell out my voters. Talking I to sell the out my constituents. <laughs> Clinton talks about holding Wall Street accountable only for political reasons. Yeah, exactly. So her no, and and the mainstream media has pointed out her connections to Wall Street and her giving getting paid speeches uh, from from Wall Street banks, Goldman Sachs. I mean, her her connections. I mean, that's where she gets her funding. Okay, and uh, all the political action committees. All right, uh, and and so and all the the political hacks. George basically. Soros. The establishment gives her all the money, and so but yeah, so her talk about being tough. That's why. She stole the election from Bernie, but Bernie gave it to her. B Bernie's part of it. He, he is part down. of the Democratic Party. Je Jesse Ventura said it perfectly. He said, I tried to talk to, to Bernie about continuing to run as an independent. Uh, he talked to me for like maybe a minute, and, and then I was it. He wouldn't even have anything to do with me. Uh, and he didn't want to hear about being an independent or anything or running uh, against Hillary uh, as an independent. He just said, no, hey, you know, I, I'm a Democrat. And, and that's what Jesse, Jesse Ventura makes a good point. Most of these parties, once you are in them, that's it. Your political career will be done if you don't just submit. If like if you run as a Democrat against Hillary Clinton, sorry, you lose. She makes the rules, okay? And you got to back her. And and Bernie Sanders has fully backed her. So anyone who supported Bernie, and you know what? I, I am happy though because some major Bernie supporters – like I think Cassandra, Cassandra Fairbanks, uh, which I don't agree with everything she talks about, but, but I mean, she was a hardcore Bernie supporter, and now straight up said, "Look, I'm voting for Trump. At least he has substance. Hillary Clinton is for war. Hillary Clinton is dangerous, and that's why I was I was voting for Bernie. And since she he sold out, and Hillary Clinton stole it, and and the whole Democratic Party stole it. They they pushed their agenda and made sure she got in." She switched sides, and that's what we need to do as as the public. We need to admit, hey, Hillary Clinton is basically Satan. So we need to at least – you can't vote for her. I'm not saying vote for Trump if you're, if you're listening. I'm just saying you can't vote for her, okay? You can't because that – unless you want unless you want to further the agenda, unless you think that – oh, if the, and, and Sam, the reason I think that we need to be voting for it to collapse quicker is not the solution <laughs> because because – it hasn't collapsed yet, and we've been saying, "Oh, oh, it's going to collapse any minute. It's going to collapse." This can go on for it's the incrementalism. It can go on for forever. Keep going downhill. So we have to give pushback. Okay, we have to we have to promote liberty. We have to push reasonable arguments to the public and and argue in the public domain. Because if we just if we just say, "Hey, let's get let's let's let it happen. Let's let's elect all the communists and globalists." And let's let it collapse. No, that's not that. that they, they want us to do that. They want us to do that because it's incrementalism. They're going to keep this thing like they're going to keep this bubble going as long as they can. And then when the bubble pops, they're going to reinflate it again and again while they take our liberties. Clinton suggests Wall Street insiders are what is needed to fix Wall Street. <laughs> yeah. So like the SEC, how they regulate Wall Street. Well, really, most of them just are buddies, and they write the regulations. Then when we're, they're done working at the, the SEC, as we've seen in Wolf of Wall Street, as we've seen in uh, The Big Short, the movie, yeah, once they're done with the SEC, they just they just go get a job, a uh, yeah, high-paid job at a bank that they were supposed to regulate. So they're all buddies. They write the rules for each other. Uh, it's called – I mean, it's, this is common sense. This is like a lobbying 101, right? Corruption, political corruption 101, anti-free market 101. I mean – it's a, yeah. it's a revolving door, open door policy. Clinton admits needing Wall Street funding. She admits it. <laughs> I've got to stop these big Wall Street for uh, these big banking firms, uh, investment banks, but I need their money first 
So please, I'm going to solicit the big banks for money and then try to say that I'm going to regulate them. And what you know what, Sam? If they if she regulates them more and more, just like this Wells Fargo thing, if the government wants to regulate more and more, that's good, just going to make it harder for the little guy. So and they only do that for for political cover. That's why Jerry Brown admitted, yeah, the minimum wage hike that I'm going to pass into law, it's not going to help. I'm just doing it for political reasons. He said economically it makes no sense. <laughs> so so ridiculous. 1984, <laughs> Brave New World. End of the family, everything's backwards. Clinton touts her relationship to Wall Street as a senator. What, say that again? Clinton touts her relationship to Wall Street as a senator. Clinton talks about the challenges <laughs> of running for office. Clinton suggests she is a moderate. Well, yeah. Even the far left, like she, she's said in private, I believe, uh, when she was talking about Bernie supporters, she's like, she's like, yeah, these people are crazy. So she basically tries to tell progressives, I'm with you, I'm super progressive, and then her public statements are like, yeah, I'm gonna do all this and do all this. Really, though, her allegiance is to the big banks, the elites. She said, right? she uh, said, Bernie, and then Bernie supporters are living in their parents' basement. Yes, and they're a bucket of losers. Yeah. So she says she says that to try to get their vote, right? And really what she's doing, and, and of course we don't agree with them, right, Sam? But at least they're genuine, right? We don't agree with them. We don't we don't agree with it. We think it makes no sense. But at least they're 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 genuine in what they believe, right? But Hillary Clinton just lies to them and says, Yeah, I'm gonna implement all of the policies you want, really knowing she's just gonna make you poorer. Uh, she's gonna give more money to the elites, her, she's gonna her, transfer more power. <laughs> Yeah. Her husband signed Glass-Steagall Act to repeal the yeah, banking the, regulations that allowed yeah. us to get to this point, a major piece. And and really, what, what doesn't that mean, Tim, doesn't that mean that so, – so Glass-Steagall kept commercial banks separate from um, investment banks, yeah. correct? So commercial banks, your deposits supposedly would be secure if the stock market tanks, they could, right? Yeah, they couldn't take your commercial deposit – and go ahead and bet it on the derivatives market as an example of what they're doing and cause the 2008 collapse. Yes, exactly. So they're basically using your deposits as collateral on their risky bets. And uh, it's and, and people should check out Stefan Molyneux's uh, analysis of the Deutsche Bank. Commercial, uh, yeah. commercial consumer banks should not be in the investment banking yeah they're supposed to be holding your money uh yeah and, and it's supposed to be secure i mean i guess banks can make investments but they can't be uh what inflating stock price they can't just bet it on nothing on derivatives. Right? they have to they, yeah exactly so they have to they have to invest it in something like uh small business loans right i mean things of that nature that's what typically commercial banks would do right correct sam yeah they would they would take your deposits and say hey we're gonna give a small business a loan so that we can make you interest on your money instead they take it and they pump the money into the stock market and it just inflates asset prices right and it just inflates the stock price it doesn't mean anything new there's nothing new that was produced right so the stock market is overinflated. Uh, people say, oh, the stock market's as high as ever. Well, that's because a bunch of uh, treasury bonds are being issued. and These companies uh, don't know, make anything. <laughs> they, don't, they, they haven't increased their profits or their production. They're, they're, In fact, a lot of them have, have slowed down production. Right? Continue, continuing with Clinton and her emails that got dropped by WikiLeaks. Clinton is aware of security concerns around Blackberries. Oh, really? Yeah. She's still using a Blackberry? She was at that time. This is yeah. This is back 2014. Yeah, that, that one was referencing. Uh, Clinton yeah. remarks are pro Keystone Pipeline and pro quote free trade, which is really code for globalism, Globalist. one world yeah. government, globalism. Yeah, where where small businesses aren't allowed to compete because of all the regulation. They call it free trade. When they just pile on more regulations and that only huge, massive corporations that give them donations uh, for their campaigns, they're the only companies that comp comply. So even with Wells Fargo, guess what? Peter Schiff made a great point. Wells Fargo, they're going to just – they're going to they're gonna find Wells Fargo. Maybe one or two pre people will go to prison or something for all the crimes committed. Um, and then Wells Fargo is going to get hit with a bunch of regulations. And guess what? They're going to be able to comply with them because – well, they're a huge mega bank, 
And so your average little small bank that I bank with a small bank, um, I mean, they're all FDIC insured, right? So, I mean, it's somewhat, they're, they're all, I guess, insured by the federal government. But either way, those small banks, are they going to be able to comply with all the regulations? No. Are they going to be able to grow? No. They'll probably be, end up going out of business. So then Wells Fargo, they'll just fire all their workers, have robots uh, do sell their other their products, sell their investment products, et cetera. And, and Wells Fargo is going to benefit from, from them committing crimes. And for political cover, Congress sits up there on their higher, their little committee stand and says, you know, we've, you know, and, and acts like they're going to put someone in prison and then help the little guy out. No, they just impose regulations. Look, regulations, I'm sorry, Paul, like what, Paul Craig Roberts, I think, says, no, it's because deregulation. No, no, no. Deregulation, guess what? If deregulation well, dere actually Deregulation happened, did cause uh, Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall yeah, was but, deregulation. But, but, but it, but, but deregulation um, is not really deregulation, Sam, in my opinion, when it has a central banking backstop, a central banking um, a banker of last resort to bail out private industries, okay, right? I mean, if, if you deregulate, that means that people can engage in commerce freely without worrying about regulation or complicated um, uh, you know, rules that they have to follow. Um, so that's a good thing. The problem is, when the small companies go out of business because of the deregulation, or because of uh, uh, small, these bubbles, small right? companies can't. They don't get bailed out. They don't have the the staff, the army of accountants and lawyers to comply with these complex regulations that are brought about by because the, of the deregulation that the, yes by the big exactly. guys who have all this baked into the cake. It's the part of doing business. It's the cost of doing business for them. Continuing with Clinton. Clinton is more favorable to Canadian health care and single payer. Yeah, the, uh, I would suggest to everyone that you need to become friends with a physician. Uh, physician. Um, and I have, I'm, I'm actually have a person that, that um, does neurosoma therapy on me and my wife um, outside of work. Okay, we don't go to their office. The reason is, is because insurance is going to become too expensive, and you're not even going to be able to get the health care you need. So people are just going to start not paying for it. Um, but you're still going to need someone to to look at you to actually, you know, to make sure that you're healthy. Let's say if you have a, ma a major issue. The only time I go to a hospital, I mean, I work at a hospital, but the only <laughs> time I actually go to a doctor, go to a doctor, is if I'm seriously ill, which I never am. Or if I break a leg or have some major accident that happens and I need surgery, right? But I would suggest everyone get healthy on your own, eat better, take better health products, take care of your body because health care is done in this country, okay? Um, it, it's done. It's headed to, it's, it's, it's headed to just limbo. And, Sing, no single one payer. Will, and, it, and it's because of government regulation. Doctors, in order for them to see you and to – uh, to do a simple checkup, I mean, there's a million regulations, um, and then insurance. Your insurance that you used to that you pay for. I mean, just for d people, just for the doctors, the physicians to get the money from the insurance. I mean, it's like trying to, um, you know. I, I mean, it's so co it's so hard. They are they 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 make it so difficult. These insurance companies, I believe, are uh, it's total fr it's total fraud scam basically. Uh, these big healthcare insurance companies, they've consolidated so that you can only go to them and then they don't even want to pay the bill. They say, give you, give us all your money and then we're still not going to pay your bills. So then you make it illegal to not have insurance, right? So instead of saying, eh, I'm not going to go with that company, they may, they force you to go with it with laws and regulations, get the government and corporations working together. It's called fascism. Uh, and socialism and communism is all the same thing. It's it's all the same. It's free market or you're in a fascist state, uh, fascist socialist state. So uh, the healthcare industry is, I mean, it's going to be like Canada. And I believe uh, Canada, what it takes two months to see a doctor. It takes like four months to get an MRI. It takes six months to get a checkup if you got a, you know, it's just ridiculous. So if you want that and you think that's beneficial to the consumer. Um, then support socialism and and support anti free market single, ideas. Single payer, single payer rationed care. I'm still fighting Obamacare. I haven't complied yet. I'm paying a fine 
So it's it's a new tax. It's a tax passed unconstitutionally, illegally. Uh, John Roberts, Supreme Court uh, Justice, admitted that when he voted for it. He's probably blackmailed too because it's totally unconstitutional. But uh, yeah, I'm still protesting it, Stuart, because I don't need their stinking health care. And I'm paying the fine through my income tax, which is total fraud. Taxation is theft, right? But let's get it. Let's get now into some real news. I mean, because this, uh, I say Hillary Clinton's emails that were dumped are real news. Donald Trump's locker room banter is not real news. But all that's covering up, oh yeah, fake news and false flags. How the Pentagon paid a British PR firm $500 million dollars for top secret Iraq propaganda. That story broke this week and you barely even hear about it. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Well, because it was top secret, right, Sam? It was top secret. If you just say, well, we were, wait, we were, we had dungeons and we were raping women and children and using mind control techniques on them. And <laughs> um, which, which MK ultra, they, they actually still do that. And, and the CIA does these kinds of operations. It's top secret, and it's a uh, it's you know vital to national security. That's how you get out of it. You just say um, national security, uh, top secret um, for the benefit of our country, uh, and and yes, you can pay a PR firm to shoot fake terror videos. You can pay them five hundred million dollars of our taxes of my labor, my labor to propagandize and then tell me I'm you. Bad, to propagandize and then tell me you. I'm bad. For not wanting war, for not wanting endless perpetual state of war uh, that's overly hyped up. We run most of ISIS. We've created all the jihadis because we've gone to all these countries. And then they, 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 they bring them over here, and then we don't want them over here. Of course not. Why would we want some suicide bomber over here? No, we don't, okay? We are being manipulated on a massive scale. You're Islamophobic. And... and <laughs> I guess I can't speak now. Yeah, you called me a lot. Uh, you you <laughs> said the ma- you waved the magic wand. Oh oh oh! W- wasn't there that that kid that uh, they wanted to use pronouns in in co- like some college class, and he said he chose his Majesty for the teacher to call him <laughs> I didn't as hear his pronoun. That. I didn't hear that. Okay, well well continue. We'll go over that. I'm gonna get that up right now. Uh, so that was a big story that we missed. Oh yeah, the government. Like if we didn't already know, but now it's all uh, documented. They're using our tax money to propagandize us into these wars that they have caused at the very least our government has caused these wars i mean we we invaded iraq and afghanistan they didn't attack us on 9 11 saudi arabia did and shadow elements of other governments intelligence agencies were involved but we attacked two countries that had nothing to do with it maybe afghanistan had something because Osama bin Laden once went there. But, I mean, it's completely utter ridiculous. And so now it's documented. Yeah, our like we didn't already know our Pentagon is propagandizing us. And let's get to this one, Stuart. Five stories the mainstream media ignored while reporting on Kim Kardashian's robbery. I mean, you could throw in Donald Trump's locker room banner, too. But, uh, yeah. number one, diplomacy between Russia and the U.S., in Syria is now dead. I mean, this is a very serious story. They're talking about uh, maybe some uh, limited nuclear war, a no-fly zone. The U.S. is talking about shooting down Russian jets. It's pretty scary stuff. Yeah, no, uh, Syria is totally destroyed, and it it, it does kind of... It, it makes me worry a little bit about what we're going to face here, Sam. We've got incompetent... Uh, John Kerry's our Secretary of State now, and the guy's totally incompetent. He's Skull and Bones member. He's, he's not incompetent. He's Skull well, and Bones. Well, I'd say he's incompetent too, but I mean... Uh, yeah, he's probably both. I mean, I, George Bush was... I think that... The, the thing is, they're trained in their craft, right, of Skull and Bones, but they're also incompetent, both of those guys, right? Um, so they are detached from reality, but they serve Satan. That's the thing. So it's like... It's, it's horrible, right? They're not even like... I mean, they're not even intelligent, and they're horrible, evil criminals, and they've swore allegiance to each other, not to the Constitution, okay? They swore an oath to the Constitution, but guess what? This, their skull and bones oath supersedes that oath, okay? And that's why they've wreaked havoc, okay? And that's why they ran against each other as a sham. That was a sham. <laughs> Are you talking about this election? 
that election was a total fraud scam. Okay, the, 20, the 2004 election between George Bush and John Kerry, total fraud. Um, I mean, they've probably had sexual relations with each other. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. It, 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 okay, and but no, that doesn't matter. Um, and it's just, we, we are going to face something really bad here. Um, and I don't know, if I don't think it's going to be one big event. I think we are, I think the chickens are going to take a long time to roost fully. I think... The fullness of iniquity will have to happen here at home, which means there's a lot more uh, evil that's got to occur, a lot more sinning behavior um, for us to fully far, fall apart. But it's really sad to see Syria in shambles, and that's because of us. We arm the rebels. We destabilize that whole region uh, in the name of what? Assad was a bad guy? That's the same thing that they said about Saddam. They're not rebels. And, hey, they're, anti- they're Al-Qaeda, ISIS. Yeah, hey. Hey, liberals, Democrats, where where is the anti-war, Paul? Your 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 uh, your position. Where is your support? I think for you're a Russian agent. I think you're a you're Russian. Scum. You're a Russian agent. <laughs> Any liberal and, de- and and Democrat that is for if all you're this against war, the war, you work for Russia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's sad if you are a true liberal and a true Democrat, and you are not anti-war, and if you're you're, you're basically have said, eh, forget the anti-war stance. I just want I want our flag to be a rainbow. Obama? Yeah. Obama won the Nobel Stop. Peace Prize. He's half black and trendy. And he's gay. I think he's gay. <laughs> so I mean really though, he I think he is. He'll probably be a transgender after he, you know, gets out of the White House. And so he's got the triple threat, right? I mean so if you don't want World War Three and uh homosexual. If you don't want World War Three, you're a Russian agent. It's yeah, we are we are gonna experience <laughs> We're going to experience some terrible things here, and you know what? It, we 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 do deserve it. We do deserve some of it. But uh, I, if you're listening to this, um, you need to to get educated. You need to uh, stop worrying about Don, Donald Trump talking about a, a straight male talking <laughs> about a, an attractive woman. Lewd. They don't even say. They said lewd comments. I mean, is that even is that even different from what he's been talking about i mean that's how he speaks anyway people love that about him that he just he speaks off the cuff he's he's, he's crude he's, he's genuine yeah he is crude a little bit and i mean this is and then and then hillary has the audacity to say that she's holier than thou when she literally runs black operations uh is a lesbian uh, and she doesn't promote she, a trail she, of dead she, bodies behind her <laughs> she she can say that she's against gay marriage and that she's for traditional marriage, uh, and she's gonna can say that blacks are uh, uh, that need to be made to heal. She could say all these terrible things ten years ago and twenty years ago, and then switch her position and be praised. And even if no one will bring it up, I mean, look, if I'm sorry, liberals and Democrats that that actually identify. She laughed that, about getting that child rapist. Scumbag. Remember, she laughed about getting that child rapist off. Remember that? I mean, oh yeah, she laughed about that. She's totally immoral, and if you have any morality left in your body, Democrats and liberals, uh, you would actually speak out against the war. Um, hey, write in someone. You, write in someone for president, but if you vote for Hillary and you actually vote because you think she's the lesser of two evils or whatnot, um, you are complete scum. Trump, said, okay? Trump says he doesn't want war with Russia. Hillary wants war with Russia. Dave Rubin is actually a, a man that used to work for the Young Tur- Turks. He's a he's a gay guy, um, but he's actually reasonable and you and and has common sense. And he just said, "Do you, does anybody think Donald Trump wants to just go to war with people? Where did that even come from? He's never voted for war. He's never been a politician. He's never had any control over uh, that. And and other casino owners like Shelton Aldo, Aldo, uh, Adelson. Alderson, Adelson, Adelson." He said we should nuke Iran. I mean, and then we're gonna give, we're gonna tell Donald Trump that he's bad because he, because he never voted for a war. Uh, he wrote a book, I think, uh, saying that the Iraq War was a total fraud. I mean, he's against war, and then we're. Oh, and he's how, actually Howard, proven Howard Stern, war, but Howard Stern yeah. even came out and said that's BS because they're trying to say, oh, he was for it because of a Howard Stern interview. Howard Stern he said, out. "I guess so. I mean, I guess so. Howard, that's what he Howard said publicly." Howard Stern said that's BS this week. He yeah, cut, he called yeah, CNN and, out. Yeah, and 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 uh, Donald Trump hit the clip of him. He said, 
He said, eh, well, when he was asked about the Iraq war, if he supported it, and he said if, if it was good, he said, well, yeah, I guess so. And this is when he's a real and, estate and like businessman, and he, that's not even on his mind on the Howard Stern show. He's not the one making the calls in the government like Hillary Clinton is. Yeah. No, we get what we deserve if we get Hillary. And, and Sam, you know— uh, I I I, w- I would like to say that there's going to be some catastrophic events, right? But I th- I I think when we talk about it, only people that are awake really understand what's happening. It's a lot of little events that are incrementally taking us down this road for years and years until it's all. We still own guns in this country. We still have the right to defend ourselves at some level. There's a lot that has to happen. Maybe not Maybe- if Hillary's elected, she gets the Supreme Court in. Boom. But they still got to come take them. I mean, that's true. But I mean, at that point, we will be in true. a civil war. Now, 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 we'll we'll lose we'll lose our rights quicker. But I still think that they don't want these big event, events to happen, because if we have some major major events like a nine eleven or even bigger, some bomb goes off in L.A. or whatever, that's going to wake people up a little bit. To hey, you know, um, are we going to be independent, self sufficient? Maybe we shouldn't like, have wait, uh, open borders. <laughs> yeah, or maybe we shouldn't have criminals running our government. I mean, maybe they'll pay attention more. I think it'll do do- more damage to the elite if they have these big events. So they have to have all these little events, like little mass shootings, uh, you know, uh, uh, cla- this creepy clown epidemic Stabbings. that I totally say Stabbings. Stabbings. Um, they-, they have to push these. They have to be real quick. Real quick, what's up? What's, Super Bowl. what's up with the clowns? Why is there why is there a clown epidemic? <laughs> I think I think it's I think it's a government psyop. I think it is. It looks you know like why? it, right? I think some of them are actually agents that are the clowns that know how to that are heavily trained. They might even be MK Ultra slaves because, Sam, imagine I, I if you, I mean someone's about, bound to shoot one of these clowns if they come after them. They're running after people with machetes. I think they're <laughs> actual agents. I don't think this is just some trend because any and, and plus have has any of them got arrested? Have they been identified? I've seen no. yeah, I've seen a couple that have got arrested. They have arrested and they're, and they're, are they going to court for you know attacking people? I just assault? saw the headlines with a deadly weapon. I mean, yeah. So I I am not. I I feel like think about it. Is it going to be if the purge? One, Is it going to be like if, the yeah, purge yeah. on Halloween with an army of yeah. clowns attacking people? Clown That's life, very do, do clown lives matter? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, they do. If if you don't agree with me, you're racist. Uh, and so I think. The clown thing is to push fear, to push the purge idea. Um, to uh, it, it, there's a lot of different aspects to that. The clown, but honestly, I really think most of them. Now, there's some probably people that just copy saw cats, it right? and they copy cats, right? But I think a lot of them are government agents that know how to handle weapons and that know how to defend themselves. Because imagine if you run up on the wrong person and they kill you for attack for running. If you're a clown and you run up on the wrong guy. <laughs> And they literally shoot you or stab you to death and kill you in the defense of their life. I don't. I think these clowns are heavily trained to avoid that. Um, well, I mean, that's just my guess. There's a reports of, reports of some of these clowns calling little kids into the woods. I mean, what's that all about? Yeah, hey, you know what? With the destruction of the family, who knows? There's plenty of kids that don't have, you know, mothers or fathers. These clowns can just take. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's get back to the real news. Okay, what we missed... And keep an eye on the clown thing. Yeah. You got to keep an eye on that. <laughs> what we missed, and we already talked about this, I'm going to say the headline quick and move on. The Pentagon, once again, dumped half a billion dollars into making propaganda for terrorists. Uh, Hillary Clinton staged a fake town hall meeting with a child actor exploiting children and bashing Donald Trump, saying, I mean... Did you see that clip? It's completely and utterly ridiculous. She's the daughter of a Democrat out of Massachusetts. Totally staged, totally fake. The mainstream media blew that up for like a day and a half and said, look at what Donald Trump does to body image of young girls. Totally staged and fake. Yeah, I think uh, it's, it, you know, what I've realized is that, yeah, the lying media well, the, the the this is a satanic agenda, right? And these people on board, and these these useless useful idiots on the left that support Hillary and they so, support the Democratic cause, and it's really just because they hate Christians and they hate straight males, um, and they hate just all things that are good um, and virtuous. They just hate them. 
So they they literally they believe in lying constantly. Just your average Democrat that like you know that's let's say a business so even a business owner, which I does baffles me. But <laughs> most of these people are just like they're like college professors, Sam, because if they have money to donate to these campaigns, these Democratic campaigns, there's no way that they actually run businesses unless they're like mega corporations. Then they're just evil. Um, no small, uh, hardly any small business over, owner is going to donate to some shill. Uh, to pay like, higher taxes, right? Yeah, to, exactly. <laughs> to basically destroy their own family. So the, the, the few Democrats that I do know, um, they're just – they are kind of just bleeding hearts and they really – they're smart people, but they the, – the media plays on their emotions too much. And I know business – I used to work for a small business owner, very, very awesome woman, but she's kind of a, a bleeding heart a little bit. And she – you know, she. I. I think it's sometimes more scary to admit the reality that the that the um, mainstream media is lying to you. Yeah, and also they play off the fact that they try to play on this. Uh, um, people, you know, they, they also a lot of these bleeding hearts. They just want gay people to be treated like normal people, and I get that, right? Um, but there. The, the gay agenda, though, has gone too far with four C. See, guys like Dave Rubin, who are gay, guys like Milo Yiannopoulos, who are gay, that, but then but that don't believe in encroaching on your lives. They want to be left alone, and they want you to have your rights. They believe in freedom, okay? You can be gay and believe in the Bill of Rights and Constitution. So guys like that, um, they, are, they are actually uh, people that I want to associate with, with, people that I would like to throw ideas around. People that I, like have a common interest in promoting liberty, and the problem is the media has forced good Democrats, good should, uh, liberals, should. good well-meaning to, to basically support any agenda that Hillary Clinton wants, any agenda. Should. And guess what that agenda is? Rules for radicals. It is lying, deceiving, destroying the family, and these people have families. These Democrats, they have families, and they're well-meaning, Sam. There's some left. There are some left. And it's sad that they are manipulated. And I'm not I'm not saying the right, the political right, which I don't even believe the Republicans are right anymore. Um, they, they've been manipulated. Their constituents have been manipulated, too. So we're not saying that we're holy of now, but we are saying that on the left, it is way more blatant and biased and way more evil. I mean, they've just they've preyed on uh, people's bleeding heart. We're in the false left right paradigm, the establishment. Right. But then there's the difference at the grassroots level. But people need to realize that's why we're doing this show. Six corporations, what, five, six corporations control 90 percent of the mainstream media. And they're and they're following this left right narrative, part of an agenda leading us toward one world government. And now we have the U.N. takeover, the globalization of the Internet, which means that well, it's not a, I mean, we gave it to them. Right. We gave it to them. We gave it. They to didn't them. take it over. And we gave it to them. So that means our Bill of Rights, uh, the Internet. Now, they said and this is what the U.N. pushes human rights. They always talk about human rights, but they don't believe in your right to bear arms. They don't believe in your right to self-defense. Them just saying, oh, magic wand, human rights. We love everyone. Human rights. Well, no, you only have the rights that they say you have. And also, you can't claim that your unalienable rights like bearing arms and defending yourself with a weapon, you can't say now that it's from your creator. You can't say that because that's that's bigoted against people that are atheist. That's bigoted against other cultures and religions. And we make the rules. We decide what you think and how you live at the global level, um, and there's no way to escape it. So you can't escape a global new world order. Um, and that's what the United States, that's why they have to destroy the United States so heavily because, because it, it, you have to get rid of the Bill of Rights. No other countries. I was talking to a guy last night, um, and he was Indian, and he, he's from India and had a heavy accent. And I asked him, I go, do you guys – are you allowed to own guns in India? And he's like, oh, no way. He's like, no way. And also he's like, he's like politics, you think politics is bad here? He, he goes – if you're a politician's son in India and you could basically beat someone's ass in the street, you could probably kill someone and be on video. And in India, guess what? Brushed under the rug, no big deal, doesn't go to jail, right? That's the kind of boss hog political corruption in other third world countries, even developing That's countries. That's where we're heading so here. We still, we still have it good here, and it's so bad here. So could you imagine as an American going over there and – uh, someone basically, you know, someone could commit a ritual sacrifice 
in the public square and say, oh, magic wand, I'm a politician's son, a high-ranking official's son. You can't do anything. But guess what? You can't kill anyone because you're just a peasant. Or I'm Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And you know what? This stuff is going on. And people that want to laugh about this stuff, enjoy. Enjoy it. Enjoy it when you have thousands of dollars of student debt, people that are my age, uh, that you have no idea how the economy works. Uh, you're, you, imagine a one-child policy. Oh, oh, well, you supported the anti-family agenda, um, and you thought you were doing good to save the earth. Well, now you can't even have kids. You're not allowed. Oh, do you want to be a straight male? Sorry, that's offensive. So uh, you thought you were uh, going to get laid because uh, you were being trendy and you were trying to fit in to get laid with the women uh, that were also trendy and feminists? Well, guess what? You're not allowed to like women anymore because we make the rules. <laughs> I mean, it's going to – Brave New World. Brave New World is you can't have – you're not allowed to love. You're not allowed to have a family. You're not allowed to have intimate relationships uh, with the opposite sex be because that is a, by the because state. that is a danger uh, to the state. And sorry, people that think we're crazy – like you're, I'm sorry, people that don't see this, it, you're crazy. Don't, I mean, you're crazy. Stuart, another another say. big story missed this week because Donald Trump's lewd comments. Millions of Russian citizens prepare for nuclear war. Forty million Russians this last week did a nationwide drill preparing for nuclear war. You think our scumbag government would ever try to prepare the American people for? Nuclear war? No. No, they just send FEMA. They say, hey, FEMA will be there in a couple weeks. <laughs> FEMA will be there in a couple weeks to clean up the remains and steal your stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, and that's about it. Was it was a four-day it... drill with 200,000 rescue professionals from the Russian government with an estimated 40 million of Russian civilians all participating in the same drill. You think they're getting ready for something? You think they're on the same page? You think there's some kind of unity in that country? Well, all we do is continually be divided. What would happen if there was a nuclear strike in this country? Yeah, it'd be chaos. You can say what you want about the Russian government, and it's, I'm not saying they're all fine and dandy either. I mean, they they persecute politically persecute people, but they do. but at least there is some some uh, unity there, right, Sam? I mean, they're they're saying, hey guys, we do need to get. You know, the the U.S. is uh, basically. Uh, I mean, they, we're we're not we're not in good um, relations with the U.S. right now, and they could be a, a possible a potential enemy uh, here in the near future. Uh, and so we need to we need to prepare for a nuclear strike potentially. And and so they're they're doing what they should as the government, right, to prepare their population, right? If they have the if they know that hey, this is a threat. The least you could do is prepare your population. Now, what I would say is give all them, give them all guns. Uh, but I don't think they haven't had their revolution, their con their constitutional revolution yet. But that's what I would say is that allow people to arm themselves and be independent. Now, but at least, at least, even if their government is manipulating them, at least, uh, you know, they're showing some form of unity, and at least they're making their population think, hey, you know, you should be prepared because. What if there is a nuclear strike? We're going to strike back to save our population. And yes, Putin is a KGB, J, uh, KGB agent. He's a deep state guy. I mean, but I mean, I mean, at least at some level, I think he he wants to be in charge. Like the globalists that are trying to control the the U.S., they they like want to be taken over by an even bigger evil. Like they don't even care. Like they but can't they even pushing, be boss hog. Like they can't even do boss hog corruption, which is like. I'm going to let you do your thing, but I'm just going to come by and get a little bit of it. You know, no, I'm going to just a, come by and skip. They the want you dead. Okay. Yeah, they just want you dead. And, and they just and they don't even they're so mentally ill and crazy and satanic that they just uh, they just honestly they I mean, they literally worship death. They worship Satan and um, well, they worship death of other people. They want to become immortal gods uh, by merging with machines, taking the chip implant, et cetera, and become a cyborg. But but at least at least Russia um is moving in the right direction, I would say, and I would trust them a little bit more. We have a, we have a friend of ours that's living there now, uh, Lewis, who just moved over there, and his wife's Russian and whatnot. And he, I mean, it seems like it's not it's not terrible over there, but 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 still, here in the U.S., just because we have our guns, we are allowed 
we have more empowerment than ever still, okay, with our right to bear arms. But the problem is, is that the people running things are just so evil. And you know what? They're recruiting new people. They're recruiting new people, Hollywood, the politicians, all of them. And they're going to compromise you and they're going to sell sex to you. They're going to give you um, they're going to give you every temptation possible. They're going to compromise you so that you do what they say. You're going, they're going to blackmail you. They're going to get you to swear oaths to things you don't want to swear oaths to, all for the purpose of getting some worldly gain. Okay. So what you need to do as a free human and a moral human, you need to promote the cause of liberty and do what your creator would want you to do. Okay. Which is promote the family, take care of your family, provide for yourself. Uh, don't get in any involved in anyone's affairs, personal affairs. Let them live their life, um, and and that's what you need to do. Because if you don't, you're going to be a slave. We're already in slavery with the income tax. The income tax is slavery. Bees, Stuart, fifth story here, and then we'll get to a couple more before we wrap it up. Bees put on endangered species list for the first time ever. Honeybees, the pollinators of the planet, what makes life uh, go around in this world and this, this is this has got to be because geoengineering it's got to be right well and the uh, yeah. glyphosate pesticides yeah. pesticides and 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 uh, fukushima radiation well radiation leaks all over the globe i think right um this could be altering um the environment heavily but then but but really we're bad though see when the government is supposed to actually let us know hey there's a radiation it's, leak it, it's me and you not monsanto yeah, it's not these big corporations that are above the law, which Monsanto is. Um, it's 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 us. And you know what they say? They make you dependent and then say, well, Monsanto gets a free pass because they provide a lot of food. So they force you, and, and, and Joel Skousen puts it this way, Satan can't get you to do things you wouldn't normally do until and, – and so he creates crisis. Okay, so not only does he create crisis, the incrementalism, he slowly gets us to ignore the rule of law over years and years. He gets these corporations and the politicians to collude and to do things illegally and to pay off each other by, by influence. And, uh, and then they set each other up to make us all dependent. And then when one thing goes wrong, you know, we're screwed because we weren't able to be independent. And that's their reasoning to say, well, we need to make sure these corporations uh, are able to produce. We can't shut them down because 90% of the population doesn't grow their own food, or it's like 95%, and only a few percent still their, grow their food, and and it's just mega corporations. And, and, and there's not many small farms anymore, and this is a big problem. It's very centralized when it comes to food. And if you can't eat food, Sam, you die. If you can't drink water and get fresh water, that's not filled with poison, you die. Uh, that's a conspiracy theory. <laughs> Let me look up the U.S. code. Continue. I'm going to look up the U.S. code real quick, and, and we're going to talk about geoengineering for one minute. But continue. Well, they did geoengineer Fresno, California yesterday like uh, insane. And then on the radio, they're like, oh, yeah, some cloud cover came in. I mean, I got up and drove from my house in Clovis to Madera where I work and I could see the sky of them spraying. It was all overcast, but the radio says, no, it was just some clouds. They sprayed the hell, they sprayed the hell out of us. GMO mosquitoes. Now they're fighting over it in Florida. People are protesting against the government releasing GMO mosquitoes to fight the Zika virus in Florida. Yeah. Uh, it's, if people think geoengineering is a conspiracy, it's actually in the U.S. code. The rules are laid out, and I'm going to try to find that before we finish. But um, there's been mainstream articles. I just Googled it right now that uh, you know the Obama administration uh, plans to geoengineer to combat climate change. Their tell. excuse is combating climate change. Go, go look at the well, sky on a heavy yeah. day of spraying. They're obviously spraying. I mean – well, it's admitted in mainstream articles that they have to that that the administration and the government is actually looking into or is is doing geoengineering to combat climate change. See, they create the climate change with the geoengineering and then say we need geoengineering to combat. The well, at least, problem they're, at least they're trying to help us. You're not appreciative of them trying to help us. That's your problem. Well, I don't have a degree in journalism, Sam. I don't have a worthless degree in journalism, so I can't. Uh, I can't. You can't speak as an authority. I can, I, 
I can't analyze situations. I can't critically think. I can't uh, take a video and analyze what that video view. I can't. I can't be a reporter because I didn't get a journalism degree, and I don't work at a big radio station, you right? You can't so use, I don't have any credibility. You can't use basic. Yes, not basic reasoning and common sense. Hey, the temperature's about the same as yesterday. Why yesterday was there all these contrails, and then today there's none because they're engineering the weather, but. But well, hey, it's very simple. And they admit it. I mean, there's documentation all over. They admit they're doing it. But hey, you know, Donald Trump said mean things. So that's what we yeah, should and, care and about. That, I'm, lo I'm looking outside right now. There's no trails in the sky. Does that mean that there's no planes flying today? I guess there's no planes flying. But then other days, they're flying in tic tac toes <laughs> all around. So, and guess what? They're not commercial planes. Because I live next to an airport and I don't see the contrails coming from commercial planes. So what? Where are those other planes coming from? What are they spraying? Uh, but no, that's a conspiracy theory. Even though you lay out logic, reason, and evidence, um, and and present an argument, and them saying they're doing it, <laughs> and, and then they also admit it, and it's in the U.S. code. Um, so you know, it, the shills and the trolls and the brainwashed. You know, and, and you know what's funny, Sam, that they, they, they talk about science so much and how we, oh, well, we evolved. There's no God. We just evolved. You know, they want to give us this crazy explanation. Let's get to that. Um, that Let's get to that I mean, story real quick. The the elites now, tech billionaires convinced we live in the Matrix. They're secretly funding scientists to save us from the Matrix. Or, or create the Matrix to save us from real life, right? To save us from the globe because we are we're hurting the Earth. So we need to plug in so that we become a bot. We give up our free will. Um, you know, and, and people don't have to agree with this, but in my doctrine, my religious doctrine, um, we are commanded to replenish the earth, right? As Adam and Eve were given that uh, same commandment to uh, multiply and replenish the earth, that commandment is still in effect today. The purpose of life, the purpose you are, you are here on this planet is to reproduce and to have a family. There is no other purpose. There is no other purpose. I'm sorry. You're being mean sorry. to the environment. I guess I'm being mean to the environment. The, the women, the real, women, real the quick, feminists see, that never got married. <laughs> real quick, did you see? And they're alone and sad. Did you see that post about environmental racism? Yes. I, <laughs> you want to read it, Sam? Well, they just they say uh, the, these environmental racism people are saying that that hurricane Matthew that hit the East Coast was racist because it hit haiti yeah i mean so so the, so the weather's now racist now too and you know what you know what if they actually weren't brain dead zombies they could actually make that argument saying that the government is targeting certain areas but of course they just are so brain dead that they just say it's white people's fault because a hurricane hit haiti so yes we've come to that point Economy, real quick, two-thirds of young American adults live with their parents. But we're in an economic recovery. Everything's fine. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, if the banks don't raise interest rates, which they won't, um, no one will save and invest. Uh, the entrepreneur won't be able to uh, have capital um, saved, uh, and he won't be able to get loans to actually start up new business and uh, as long as we keep these regulations, uh, the constant government regulations, especially here in California, uh, we'll never be able to produce anything. So, of course, we're going to have young people living at home because they can't get a job. They can't be an entrepreneur. They can't produce. Uh, their college sold them a worthless degree, which you could have got at a library. Um, unless you're like an engineer, a doctor, be a social or, justice uh, warrior. or an accountant. I mean, you have to get a skill. If you don't have a skill from – if you can't claim a skill from your college degree – a, wor a marketable skill that actually provides goods and services. You got a worthless degree. Social justice. So you're immoral. I want social justice. That's my degree. But we're deplorable because we <laughs> understand economics. Truly disgusting. Some good news out of Sean Hannity. He's been doing a lot better lately. Sean Hannity tweeted a couple days ago at Megyn Kelly, you should be mad at Hillary Clinton. Clearly you support her. Calling out hey, Megyn Kelly. Hey, we got to give Hannity props, you know what? Um, because he has no other choice. And you know what? He's been one of the only ones. Um, and maybe he's a gatekeeper still. I don't know. But he definitely is the only one that has been allowed to speak his mind a little bit. And he is right. Megyn Kelly, you are a shill for Hillary Clinton. Um, and you know what, women? If you want to keep uh, this war on men, it's really a war on men and the family. If you want to be a part of this, women, 
then enjoy being alone when you're 50 in a brave new world where you must worship Hillary Clinton. Um, enjoy it, and you'll have no. And guess what? Men will not buy you rings. Will not help build you, uh, build and buy you things. We will not give you babies. You'll you can have it with your lesbian partner or whatever. Um, and guess what? Men won't be around to fend off, um, you know, criminals. Uh, you won't have any peace of mind. And you know what? You won't have a family uh, with a good man. You, so enjoy it. You'll be married to the state. You'll be married to the state. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Call me a misogynist. We're almost we're almost done, Stuart. Did you get your geoengineering uh, in the U.S. code? I don't have, I don't have the code. It's you, you got to go look. I'll find it for a next for our next show. Real um, quick, but, real quick. Yeah. One another reason to vote for Donald Trump. And yeah, I'm offended by his misogynist comments, but I'm over it already. <laughs> Every major, the top hundred newspapers in America, out of all of them, none of them for the first time ever have endorsed the Republican presidential candidate, who is Donald Trump. So you can see right there the wall of lies coming from the mainstream media. Not not one of the top 100 newspapers in America has or will endorse Donald Trump. That is an endorsement to me, a reason that does make me to want vote to vote for, for him. him. Yeah. That does make me want to vote for him. Scumbag mainstream media, uh, dying media newspapers. You're gone. No one reads you. You can't even produce a, a decent show and put it on YouTube. You're scum. <laughs> oh, and Trevor Carey is awesome here in in um, the Valley. So we support guys like that who are really basically like this show on big on the air here um, on a big station. So we support guys like Trevor Carey and anyone who's going to speak out on a big station. So we appreciate them. One more thing. The only reason I would have been unpleased with Trump's comments is that he was married. I mean, clearly he was with Melania, I think he said. But, but that was it. I mean, come on. Every male has either thought or said that. So if you're a man and you're upset, stop with the fake moral out outrage. <laughs> you are just what Donald Trump said, actually, the P word. I'm not going to say it again. Uh, but be men, okay? Uh, you oh, one more thing. We got time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, <laughs> man if you if, – hey, I, I thought we were about to finish – Man, if you don't, if you're really, if you're this fake moral outrage that you have with uh, Donald Trump's comments, why don't you just go grab a dildo and support the Cox Not Glocks movement and hold a dildo next time someone attacks you or breaks into your home and you know wants to uh, uh, rape your daughter, just hold a dildo to their, raise your magic dildo and say, I have a dildo, you have to leave, and and see how that works out for you, okay? You're pathetic, men. If you think that you're gonna, that supporting something like that, a Cox Glocks movement, <laughs> which, by the way, if you haven't looked into this movement uh, on the UT in, uh, at the UT campus, Cox Not Glocks, which is basically skank sorority girls car carrying around dildos and looking promiscuous um, to fight gu to fight guns to fight people carrying on campus. They're um, uh, these girls were invited to the White House, and there's pictures on Facebook of them at the White House yesterday. So I'm going to do a report on that. So it's Black um, Lives Matter. So everything against our Bill of Rights and uh, against common sense is being promoted by the White House by our half black Nobel no. Prize winning, maybe gay, trendy president. The highest political office in our nation had uh, skank uh, college don't, chicks don't forget with Black dildos <laughs> with dildos in the White House, and we're supposed to he, think that that that's moral. He goes on the late night talk shows, though. Yeah, I guess so. And he and Hillary Clinton did between two ferns with Zach Galifianakis. So I guess we'll give her a pass for all her crimes. <laughs> uh, look, speak out and take action. Um, we need we need to uh, promote the Bill of Rights Constitution. Uh, and you can laugh and make your comments. I mean, uh, by the way, uh, Sam, our, our YouTube, do you really think we even – I don't read the comments. Why would I read comments when we know we're going to get a bunch of trolls? Well, I don't reply um, to them because, I mean, I saw one that uh, – one like a uh, couple of days ago, I did a video, I don't know, a month back, whatever, two months. Henry Paulson, the financial terrorist, endorses yeah. Hillary Clinton. He was the Republican uh, – head of the Treasury Department during the bailouts 
And then yeah. they said, how dare you say that Henry Paulson was a terrorist? He saved the economy. He told us <laughs> if we don't bail out the bankers with unlimited funds, then the whole thing's going to collapse and there's going to be riots in the streets and all this. But he's a great hero. I mean, real, who? I mean, come on. It's an obvious troll. It's completely ridiculous. If you support Sorry. Henry Paulson, then you're a complete idiot. If you like your dollar being devalued and every and you like the hidden tax inflation and the bank like paying rate, for rate banker rate. bailouts, then uh, I don't know what to. Uh, you know what? Get on your knees. Get on your knees and and give the state fellatio. <laughs> sorry, sorry, we have to talk like that, but but it's so ridiculous. We have to counter it because we've already countered it with arguments, Sam. That we kind of just have to get outraged about it and be. <laughs> It makes me feel. It make it make it reminds me that I still am, and I just worked out. I was just I was just actually doing boxing in my garage and uh, and actually teaching people how to defend themselves. I just had three people that I taught how to defend themselves. Um, that makes me remember that I'm a red blooded, straight male, a protector of my family, a believer in freedom of liberty. It reminds me that if anyone tries to come near my family or come near me, um, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be a slave and a victim, okay? I'm going to defend myself. It is an inherent right, and my creator, my heavenly father, gave me that right and all of us this right, and if you don't respect what he gave you, well, you know what? Enjoy serving Satan, and you know what? You won't even serve him. You'll just be a slave. You won't even have an opportunity to serve. You will be a <laughs> slave. See, I can serve my heavenly father. He doesn't force me to, right? Sam, he doesn't, God doesn't force you to serve him. Satan forces you to serve. That's the difference. God is about liberty. Satan represents slavery. And if you're not religious, maybe you should get religious. Seriously. I mean, if you want to continue down this road, if you like it, okay, then you're going to have to witness the fruits of this road that we've created as a population, okay? Not me as an individual, but we're all at fault at some level. We're not perfect. We're not holier than thou, but people need to get a little bit more religious, I'd say. Well, yeah, when they're doing, uh, they're talk there's heavy talk of nuclear war. They're talking about a no-fly zone in Russia, shooting, I mean, in Syria, shooting down Russian aircraft that could potentially start World War III. Um, yeah, it's time to uh, to start finding God, I would say. Absolutely. How much time do we have, Sam? We're over an hour already. We can keep going. Oh. We can keep going oh, if you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's finish here. Uh, do you want to finish with a what, another story and then we'll we'll close it out? I thought we were just doing an hour. Uh, we're a little bit over an hour. That's all right. That's all right. We that's why the beauty of YouTube, right? We can just throw it up. We got as long <laughs> as you got time. You want to get into this some of this crazy political correctness? Oh, like my, my, um, my computer. We'll save that. Let's let's save that for individual reports. I got to. <laughs> okay, let's wrap so. it up then. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe to this channel. Do your own research. Speak out and take action. Last word, Stuart. Peace, love, and liberty. We appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, our channel is getting you know, close to 10,000 views a day now. Um, with our reports, we've, uh, we've been sharing out the important news that the mainstream is not covering. So, we, Sam, thank you for doing all your great work and building the channel. Um, support alternative media. Uh, Go to our website and sign up with our newsletter. We're making some changes to our site. We're going to have a store available. We're going to try to monetize our operation with our partners and, uh, and really try to bring you uh, more reports, more news, and and be a voice for liberty. So we appreciate it. Um, uh, Sam, once again, it's a pleasure uh, being your partner in, uh, well, cr basically crimes now because uh, <laughs> promoting liberty is a crime. It's a hate crime. You're a thought uh, so criminal. I, yeah, and so um, I'm glad it's a badge of honor to be with you and to be doing this for a couple years now. Um, we appreciate our partners as well, um, uh, Pam and Sam, uh, Pam and Paul, uh, and we just we appreciate everyone that's uh, that's that's helped us over the years. And we're gonna continue. You know what? This is not about making money. Uh, this is about promoting freedom. We do this because we love freedom, and that's it. And we appreciate all the people that are that uh, we've associated with that have done interviews with us. Um, we really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, peace, love, and liberty. Bill of Rights Constitution. Uh, that's it for me. All right. Peace, love, and liberty. Good night, folks. We Weaponizednews.com. <laughs>